We've just been kind of throwing text and graphics onto this page, and it is a mess. So let's go ahead and clean it up, head toward a finished product that we can print. The main tool that we're going to use to move objects around our page is the selection tool. That's the first tool at the top of the tool panel, also called the black arrow tool. We saw this tool briefly in the last movie, but the selection tool lets me move objects around my page and even resize them and rotate them. Let's see how to do it. If I click on this object here, this logo, I can drag it around my page. Now you'll notice as I drag it, I see all these green lines flashing on and off. Those are called smart guides, and smart guides are a great way to make sure that objects are aligned or distributed on your page properly. So I'm gonna drag this over until I see a green line, a green vertical line, that goes between it and the frame beneath it. When I let go of the cursor, you'll see that it's lined up perfectly. I'll do the same thing with the logo down here. I'll select it and then drag it around until it aligns through the center of the object above it. Now I'm gonna move this image of this photographer. If I click in the image out here around the edge and drag, you'll see that the image actually moves, but that's different than if I click on this little icon in the middle. That's called the content grabber. It looks kind of like a bagel or a lifesaver candy. The content grabber actually lets me move the picture inside the frame. For example, if I click and drag here, you'll see that the image moves and the frame doesn't. That's actually a very important thing for you to understand about InDesign. Images and frames are two separate things. I currently still have the frame selected, but if I double click on this frame, it goes inside and selects the image. You'll notice that the highlight changed and also the cursor changed to a hand cursor. And that means now I'm moving the image around, not the frame. I can go ahead and move this back to approximately where I want it, just so that I can see the picture here. And now I'm going to double click again. Now the frame is selected again, the frame that contains the image. Actually, a little bit is still cropped out, so I'm going to resize this frame simply by dragging this side handle a little bit to the left. As you can see, the selection tool also lets me change the size of frames. So I could select this text frame, move it around, and then also resize it by dragging one of its side or corner handles. Of course, by doing that, some of the text ended up going behind the image, and that's not so good. I really wish that the text could see where the edge of the image is and wrap around it. And I can. To do that, I'm going to select the graphic, not the text frame, but the graphic frame. And then I'm going to go up to the window menu and choose text wrap. All of InDesign's panels live up there in the window menu. And in this case, the text wrap panel lets me adjust the text wrap or run around around this graphic. This panel has lots of options that I'm gonna be covering in a later chapter. But for right now, I'm just gonna go through this quickly. Just the basics, remember? I'm gonna click on this third button at the top of the text wrap panel. Then I'm gonna come down to the Contour Options Type pop-up menu, and I'm going to choose Detect Edges. That tells InDesign to draw a line, a text wrap line, around the image itself. You can see it if you look closely, a very thin blue line. Right now, it's a bit too close to the image, so I need to increase the amount to, say, nine points. And I'll do that over here in this field. I'll just change this to 9PT. When I'm done, I hit Return or Enter, and you'll see that it moved that text wrap line away from the image. That might be a little bit too much. Let's bring this down to maybe four points. Okay, there are two other problems that I see on this page. One is that this graphic does not fit inside this frame, but I could make it fit by selecting it, and why don't I close the text wrap panel? I'll just click on this little X next to it. There we go. I'm gonna select that frame, and now I'm gonna go up to the control panel, and I'm gonna choose this button here, the Fit Content Proportionally button. When I click that button, the entire graphic gets resized so that it fits inside the frame. The last problem that I see is down here. This guy's shoulder is obscuring the text behind it. Now in this case, I'm not gonna make a text wrap. I'm just going to move the stacking order. That is, what is on top of what. With the black arrow selection tool, I'll select this frame, this text frame, and also shift click on the text frame down here. That selects both of them. I wanna move them up above the image of the photographer. So I'll go to the object menu and look inside the arrange submenu. Here I'll choose bring to front. Bring to front means stack these frames on top of everything else on the page. Okay, this is finally really coming together. And there's so much more that I'll be talking about in later chapters about grouping and distributing objects, organizing them onto layers and making starbursts, anchoring them into text. We're gonna have great fun. But before we jump into all of that, there are two more things we need to do to this document. Print it and export it as a PDF.